information gathering within disciple making movements. This video series presents seven principles. Module 1. Information Needs. Ministry workers at every level continually gather and share reliable information by which to make better decisions. Module 2. Jesus coached his apostles. Jesus and his apostles combined the coaching of new leaders with the making of disciples and the planting of new churches. Module 3. Jesus' Apostles' Tracked Outcomes. The Gospels and the Book of Acts describe how Jesus and his apostles gathered information on the progress of the Good News. Module 4. Peter tracked disciple making. Church planters and new shepherds willingly gather information on their own activities, then share this with their coaches. Module 5. Paul tracked church planting. Coaches gather information from workers at every level, to help them make plans to reproduce churches and leaders. Module 6. Tracking Tools. Ministry leaders provide coaches and shepherds with tools that record needs and outcomes of their faith and work. Module 7. Reporting Lines. Ministries report on their progress to their international sponsors, to evaluate programs, and to give an account to donors. Module 1. Information Needs. Principle 1. Ministry workers at every level frequently gather and share reliable information, with which to make better decisions. Action 1. Through personal conversations, and in workshop discussions, let workers at every level tell about the kinds of information that they require. In disciple-making movements, some typical information needs include the following. One, local leaders, evangelists, church planters, shepherds, require which communities have been penetrated. Numbers of persons and houses of peace. Kinds and frequency of evangelism efforts. Kinds of ongoing disciple making activities. Two, ministry coaches, trainers. Pastors, missionaries, require numbers and ages of baptized believers. Numbers and ages of new disciples. Numbers and generations of new churches. Names and needs of appointed leaders. 3. Ministry planners. Regional leaders, zone chiefs require teaching and training needs and opportunities trainer and coach placement and activities regional maps indicating recent progress coach training placement and activities four mission directors presidents directors executive boards require National and Global Growth and Decline Statistics National Ministry Outcome Progress and Challenges Organizational Personnel Need and Placement Timely Reports to Donors and Intercessors 5. Ministry Partners Cooperating organizations, donors, require emerging opportunities for cooperation. Portable schools, seminars, conferences, publications. Affordable, available mapping services. Visiting trainers, consultants and specialists. 6. Mission Strategists Coordinators, educators, researchers, require regional and countrywide progress, challenges, strengths, opportunities, threats and failures. 
methods, structures and outcome tracking. Case studies and lessons learned. Action 2. Organize workshops at every level of your ministry and partnerships, in which participants take time to reply to queries, such as the following. A. At which of the six levels do you have responsibilities? B. What kinds of decisions and plans must you make repeatedly? C. What are your current ways of gathering and processing information? D. How is that information useful? How timely and reliable is it? E. What kinds of new information would help you make better decisions? F. Who could supply that information, if they were willing and had a better way to do so? G. In what forms do you need to receive information? Anecdotes, estimates, counts, charts. Have participants write down their replies, and compile these into a report. Agree to seek ways in which to strengthen information gathering and sharing.